is Golden Alex, and today I will be telling you guys how to get all the monsters on Plant Islands. So all the way from the one elements to epic four element monsters. So yeah, let's get started. So obviously timestamps in the description down below. It would be very hard to get through this video to get to one specific monster for a breeding combination. You might want to like save this to a playlist or something when you need to breed a monster on Plant Island and then you could just come back, breed, look for the timestamp and uh, just look at the breeding combination and yeah, basically yes, let's get started. So first of all, we're obviously going to start off with one elements. So obviously, all the one element monsters can be bought or can be breeded by using themselves uh, to get one more of them. So yeah, the pretty simple concept. Now let's get on to the two element monsters. These are way more easier. Well, they're not way more easier. They're a little bit harder, I guess. But yeah, let's get started. So Shrub is our first one. So yeah, let's start with that one. So Shrub is Pot Belly plus Noggin. Octopus is Pot Belly plus Toe Jammer. Fur Corn, my favorite, is uh, Pot Belly plus Mammoth. Fog is Noggin plus Toe Jammer. Dropper is Noggin plus Mammoth. And Ba is Toe Jammer plus Babbit. Yeah, really simple. Two of it's are really simple, but there's a lot of them, so it's kind of long. But yeah, let's get into the more complex, I guess. Three Elbit Monsters. So yeah, let's get started with Pummel. So Pummel can be bred with multiple breeding combinations. One of them is obviously Shrub plus Toe Jammer, Flog plus Potbelly. Missing one, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Oh, and Octopus plus Noggin. I'm pretty sure those are all. I'm pretty sure there's only three breeding combinations for a monster on each island is or for a triple element monster i mean i guess i could look for more let's see all the combinations that nah, i'm pretty sure i covered all of them so yeah let's get out to quabble quabble can be bred with shrub and babbit or using drum or plus pot belly but it can also be bred with fur cord and dogged very very simple and bogart one of my favorites can be bred with octopus plus mammoth or ma plus pot belly and one more I'm pretty sure which is fur cord plus toe jammer so yeah let's get on to t-rox so t-rox can be well can be gotten by using these following reading combinations which are obviously flog plus mammoth mammoth or oh, i mean sorry ma plus noggin and one last one which is let me remember it's actually um let's see drumper plus toe jammer really simple now let's get on to the four element the four element is obviously ant brat and it has quite a bit of reading combinations it has like a lot a lot actually because you could also use the two elements to breed them but the best breeding combination for Unbred is obviously Potbelly plus T Rox. I recommend you do this one. But there are some other ones uh, which are, well, not as good, but you can still do them. So, for example, you can do Bogart plus Noggin, Clambo plus Toe Jammer, Pummel plus Mammoth, and yeah, that's basically all for the one plus three. Uh, element monsters now let's get on to the two elements which is going to be uh, way harder so you can do ma plus shrub you can uh, do drum pour plus octopus you can do flog plus fur corn i'm pretty sure those are basically all for the two elements i think so but yeah, that's basically all for the two elements. I don't recommend you do these ones. They're not as good. I've tried to do them before, and they are really not as good. Uh, just do the easiest one is obviously Potbelly plus T Rox. I re really, really, really recommend you do Potbelly plus T Rox for and Brat. But yeah. Let's get on to some of the mythical monsters or, you know, that can't be, that are not natural. So, obviously, the Dipsters can be bought with one key each. And I currently have 667 keys, which is say Thank you to everyone who gives me keys. It's really helpful. But, yeah, boys, they can be bought with one key each. So, it's really, really cheap. 
let's get on to Talker and Parasona. They can be bought with 100 relics each, which you can get from Spin the Wheel, Daily Rogan Rewards, and the Memory Game. There's probably more methods that I'm not including, but those are the most basic ones. Now, for Ghast, Ghast is a pretty, pretty hard monster to get. Like, it's actually really hard to get. I know I have four and two rare ones. I'm just flexing, but... The breeding combinations for Ghast is Embrat plus T-Rox. Well, they're basically Embrat plus any of the three element monsters. So Embrat plus T-Rox, Embrat plus Bogart, Embrat plus Clambo, Embrat plus Pummel. Those are basically literally all the breeding combinations for Ghast. It's really, 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 really simple. Now let's get on to Wobox. Wobox can be bought with 75 million coins, which is completely insane. Uh, it costs a lot. I could get one more, but... I won. I need monsters for the Colosseum. So yeah. But now let's get on to Jujube. So Jujube can actually be bred by using T Rox and Pummel, which is kind of weird. Which I will get into later why it is so. And the next monster is obviously Shuggabush. He's currently on sale. But the breeding combination for Shuggabush is Quamble plus Bogart. And as you can see, Rare Quamble and Rare Bo Bogart are on sale. So, uh, and it's kind of weird, but it's kind of cool at the same time to see that. Um, but yeah, those are basically all the natural... Oh, I forgot one more, Punkleton. So, Punkleton can actually be bred by using Bogart plus T-Rox. Really, really simple breeding combination. Um, but yeah, that's basically every breeding combination for all the naturals and for all the, you know, uh, non-natural monsters. So yeah, let's get on to the rares. So I'm going, I'm only going to cover four rares. And the reason is because the only four rares that have like a specific breeding combinations are Rare Mammoth, Rare Noggin, Rare Potbelly, and Rare Toe Jammer. All the other rares can be bred with their same breeding combination as the normal ones. So for example, Rare Flog can be bred by using a Noggin plus Toe Jammer, which is the exact same breeding combination for a normal Flog. So you guys can use that. But another tip on getting rares is by using an Embrat and using that same monster. So for example, if I want to get Rare Flog, I, I probably still would use the breeding combination with uh, Noggin plus Toe Jammer. But instead of that, you could do Embrat plus Flog, which will help you out a lot, but let's cover the rare one element. So for some reason They have a specific breeding combination Well, it's actually a pretty good reason because that would be really really easy to get the rares because they're only one elements And it wouldn't take a lot of time So I'm pretty sure that's the reason why they have specific breeding combinations. So yeah Let's get started out with Mammoth. So Mammoth has Bogart plus Clambo, which is really, really strange. If you remember, the Shuggabush breeding combination is Clambo plus Bogart. So you might, if you're trying to breed Rare Mammoth, you might have a chance of getting a Shuggabush, which is very, very weird. So next one is not rare noggin and rare toe jammer so they have the same breeding combination which is also really weird which is t-rox plus pummel and it also shares the same breeding combination as jujube which is really 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 strange i don't know why it that's like why why does that happen like come on uh bbb come on guys but the last one is rare pot belly which is pomo plus clambo really 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 simple and yeah guys we're basically done with all the rares i guess i guess we can go on to the epics so we're gonna start out with oh uh, I mean, yeah, we're going to start off with the Epic 1 elements, of course. So, first one on our list is Epic Potbelly, which is Embrat plus Shrub, but really simple. For Epic Noggin, it's going to be Embrat plus Flog. For Epic Toe Jammer, it's going to be Embrat plus Octopus. And for Epic Mammoth, it's going to be Embrat plus Furcorn. So, now that we're done with the one element monsters, let's get on to the two element monsters, guys. So, obviously, we're going to start out with Epic Shrub, which is T-Rox plus uh, Octopus. And Epic Octopus is obviously Bulgar plus Shrub. Epic Furcorn is Clambo 
plus frog, epic frog is pommel plus fur corn, and epic drumper is clamo plus ma. And last one on the list is epic ma, which is bogart plus drumper. Really, really strange, but it's still kind of good. Um, but yeah, let's get into the three element monsters. So. For the three element monsters, we're obviously going to start off with Epic Pummel, because he's the first one on our list, which is Bogart plus Flog, and then Epic Clamble is Pummel plus Ma. Epic Bogart, oh wait, did I say Epic Bogart for Clamble? I meant Epic Clamble is Pummel plus Ma. Epic Bogart is Clamble plus Octopus. Epic T-Rox is Pummel plus drumper really really simple breeding combinations now the breeding combination for epic and brat is t-rox plus shrub really really simple guys uh, i'm just speeding through this but <laughs> so the breeding combination for epic punk sorry for the cutout guys um, there was an ad, so I had to cut it out. But anyways, the breeding combination for Epic Puckleton is actually Et Brat plus Drubler. Really, 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 really simple breeding combination. I think it's probably the best one of them all. But yeah, guys, I'm pretty sure we covered every single breeding combination on our list for Plant Island. Well, I mean, I'm probably pretty sure. I mean, I guess, uh... Dipsters, I did dipsters. I basically did basically literally every single monster. But yeah, boys, this is basically going to be the end for the video. I really, really, really hope this tutorial helped you guys. Again, the timestamps are in the description down below. And yeah, guys, see ya.